Maximum Spider. Welcome to the Now I'm Ashley. I'm Brian. I don't think it's a stretch to say that Spider-Man for PlayStation 4 is one of the most anticipated games of the year. Not a stretch. The game features a grown-up Peter Parker who is battling a number of supervillains across New York. It's not the first Spider-Man video not, game by, not by any, any means, means, but probably the most ambitious, I would say, and it's only a month away. It's due out September 7th. I also can't wait. The game's already yes. gone gold, so it is finished. It is now off being printed onto discs to get to people. The embargo for previews has lifted, so we're starting to get some first impressions of the game rolling in across the media landscape, and it's very exciting stuff. Yes, let's dig in. Let's see what people think, but keep in mind these aren't proper reviews, but they definitely give us an early taste of just what people's first impressions are. Well, and it's also worth noting this is based on the first few hours. It's a preview build. Outlets have been banned from posting spoilers, which I think we can all agree is a good thing since no one else can even play the game, right. but we wouldn't do that to you guys no. anyway. Just premise We're stuff. good people. Well, let's not say we're good people. We're, we're mostly okay. Yeah. We have our moments. All right, with that out of the way, let's get to the impressions. All right, one of the most consistent praises from everyone who's been playing is the in-game world, which is, of course, based in New York City. Uh, there's, that's where Spidey's nemesis, Norman Osborn's become mayor, and he's hired Silver Sable to run security. Meanwhile, a ton of supervillains are running wild, and Spidey is caught between everything. The Hollywood Reporter really praised the look of the game, calling it truly beautiful, a lushly rendered mashup of Marvel's version of New York and the fantastical sense of urgency and urban power the real-life eastern metropolis evokes. Well, there's also a couple of nods. There's uh, like the like Stark building right. is there. It doesn't mean that oh, you're going cool. to be seeing a bunch of MCU characters or mm. anything like that. There's just a couple nods, mm -hmm. but they're in there and they're neat. Yeah. Uh, they also had a lot of good words for the character rendering, saying they can be hyper-realistic at times, pores can be seen on characters' faces, <laughs> and yet still maintaining that brightly colored, saturated comic book vitality. So I guess it's good thing that Peter Parker has grown up a little bit. And Less blackheads. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That would be like real frustrating for him, I'm sure, oh, while he's yeah. still in high school. Yeah. But let's talk about Peter Parker. And his pores. Yes, he is definitely not Tom Holland running around high school in this game, crying about his dating life. He's now a big boy. He's in his 20s. He's an experienced crime fighter when we take control of him. A Eurogamer quoted the game's creative director, Brian Intihar, who said that Peter Parker is 23 now. He's been Spider-Man for eight years, he's graduated college, he's pulling double duty as both scientist and superhero, and in many ways we've been calling this his next coming of age story. This is an unusual approach because everyone seems to want to tackle origin stories. But Always, relentlessly. Yes, we don't need them anymore. It's refreshing that Insomniac seems to get that we all know how Spider-Man got Spider-Man. We do? What? Radio the Spider. Yep. I've never heard of them. I'll, I'll catch you up to speed okay. before the game launches. But it's more interesting. This way, get straight into the fun stuff. That's what the Homecoming did, too. Yeah, I liked that. It worked out great. And yeah. it's not to say there isn't going to be progression. There's not going to be learning. Sure. Peter Parker does have access to a number of Spider-Man suits as the game progresses. And each different suit gives him access to different powers. And you unlock those with tokens, which you receive from doing various things like fighting crime or taking photos of famous spots in New York. Mm. All right. So now is a good time to talk about the web slinging. Very important in any yes. Spider-Man game. Obviously, that's Spider-Man's main mode of transportation, and a lot has already been written about it. There's a lot of speculation. Somewhat a very physics-heavy approach to traveling, but people have noticed that's not the case here. Well, as in it's not a 100% physics simulator. There's a lot of make-believe involved to make the traversal flow that may not have worked smoothly if you had to do all the work of building up the momentum and changing the direction of your momentum and all that stuff. So this is a little bit more make-believe. If you're bummed about that, I'm sorry, but that's how this game is. It's, it's, super it's game. airing on the side of the fun mm -hmm. as opposed to the uh, accuracy. Us Gamer wrote about the web slinging saying, there are some definite spots to where the game does its best to keep your momentum going, like the transition from an aerial dive to swinging or from swinging to wall running. Although they did add that momentum and weight do play a strong part. So if you're okay with like a little bit of a hybrid, maybe that'll be enough. Suspend your physics disbelief a little bit. While we're talking about impressions, we should note that we here at Rooster Teeth have had some hands-on time with the game as well. well. And there are a lot of fun things that you can do uh, within the game. And honestly, 
based on the experience uh, that those of us originally have had, sometimes it's the little details that are actually making this game work. I mean, the web slinging is fun, it's a huge thing, but little things like uh, you can walk on the street instead of web slinging along if you want. You can wave at the other pedestrians. Oh, that's fun. Some of them will love you and react positively, others are not fans and will make sure that you know it. So it's just, it's a cool little way that makes the world feel like it's living more. Yeah. It's the kind of thing they didn't have to put in the game, but it really adds to it. Also, the physics of swinging around the city, getting back to web slinging, feels really great. Gus and John were both particularly fond oh, yeah. of that. John's also called out the fighting system as being fast paced, but intuitive and a lot of fun to play. And then as for the combat, since we're talking about that mm -hmm. stuff, your gamer said that at its simplest, it's about striking and countering, yes, but once you get dodges, aerial combat, webs, and gadgets involved, it becomes something else entirely. Others said the combat definitely takes some cues from the Batman Arkham games. Which is really a good thing, I, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, games Radar wrote, there will always be parallels between what Spider-Man does with combat and what the Batman Arkham series has cemented. There are huge similarities between the two, especially with the way the flow builds, combo counts mount up, and the use of gadgets and skills to enhance what's essentially a rather brutal dance. Okay, as for the story, the game begins with one of Spider-Man's arch enemies, Kingpin, headed to jail. But Wilson Fisk has a warning for Spider-Man. Without him running the underworld, even more bad guys will take his place. He kind of tells him like he was keeping a lid on things. And right, now, it's like now he, you remove the lid. He at least had the organized crime organized. <laughs> yeah. And he's kind of got a point. There are a ton of bad guys in this game from Sinister Six, Kingpin, Mr. Negative, Silver Sable, Norman Osborn. You got a lot of people you need to deal with. A lot. But all of those characters did confuse some people. Mm. Ars Technica wrote, I very quickly found that I was having trouble following the story. There were so many characters and not all of them were explained well. Events were referenced as if everyone in the world knew what they were, but I had no idea. So that could be a little bit tricky, but yep. I don't think that'll, if you're a fan of the comics, I don't think that's gonna hold too many True. people back. Uh, but then to help with all of those people that Spider-Man has to deal with, he's got allies in the game and they include uh, like Yuri Watanabe of the NYPD, Miles Morales, who's 15 year old Spider-Man fan who grew up in the same city. Ooh. And I just think it's lovely that he's in the game. Wait. Yeah, and then of course, wouldn't be Spider-Man without Mary Jane Watson, Spider-Man's longtime girlfriend, except in this game, they've broken up. Uh -oh. She's an ex, she's now a reporter for the Daily Bugle. At some point, you take control of her as well. I think it's in a flashback sequence. Yeah, well, and she actually does play a pretty significant role in the game. Uh, as GameSpot noted, after a few hours, a handful of story missions, and a lot of goofing off as Spider-Man, I was surprised at how much MJ stood out. That's cool. So it's cool to get that variety yeah. as well. And it's also a nice contrast when you uh, are playing, you've got your superpowers and you start to take them for granted to play as like a normal a person. Yeah. And then it makes you kind of appreciate them again. Not to say that uh, like MJ's gonna be a chore to play. It's fun, it's just a different but type. But different and from web you know, slinging. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Another thing they seem to have nailed, at least based on our playtime, is the dialogue and the bosses. Now, that could have been an easy miss, especially for longtime Spider-Man fans. Some of the recent movies haven't quite hit the sweet spot Yeah, there. Homecoming did great, but yes. there have been, like, they've had so many Spider-Man movies at this point, and mm -hmm. some of them are stronger some than are others. Some are better than others. There, yeah. But so far, based on what we've seen, the game is doing a pretty good job. And technically speaking, we didn't really see any frame rate issues, any crazy long loading times, but again, we weren't playing any final builds, so we'll reserve judgment on that until full review builds are available. All in all, virtually everyone was Pretty positive about what they saw. Yeah, a Nerdist said, this is the comic book world that we want to live in and it may be a real contender for video game of the year. Ooh. Push Square said, even this early, we're confident in saying that Insomniac's made the best ever Spider-Man game here. It may well subscribe to every open world trope under the web spinning sun, but when the end product is this polished and consistent, then that's not such a bad thing. Yeah, although, I mean, there, I guess there have been some decent Spider-Man games, but this does seem like it's knocking everything else out of the park. Feels next level. It you know, feels triple A. Again, remember, this isn't final. We will see if everything holds up once full builds of the game are out there. But overall, it looks like it's shaping up to be the Spider-Man game we hoped it would be when the game was unveiled. The early hours of the game do hold up. Everyone's having a great impression based on those. Can't wait. However, just caveats there. I want to get super excited, but oh. just trying to... Remember, not final yet. Oh, 
All right, so that's what we know so far about Spider-Man based on our time with the game and what others have played as well. What do you think? Are you planning to pick it up? Will you be waiting for reviews or Let's Plays before you make your decision? Let us know in the comments. And for all your Spider-Man news, make sure you like this video. If you're new here, subscribe to the know. And uh, extra, extra, let us know if you're planning on getting one of the special editions. I think John might be saving oh, up for one of those. I want one. Yeah. He was like, I think Spider-Man is coming and I want Spider-Man PS4. Mm -hmm. And it is. So there's that. Web sling away now. <laughs> <laughs> Arkham Games. See, the